right, so I'm opening my packages now. These are guitar parts from Timu. Okay, we've decided to participate with Timu. So we've got a back plate right there. And of course, being in the guitar shop, I'm going to order guitar parts. Here's the pick guard. Okay, all this stuff came from Timu. There's the pick guard. There's the back plate. And there should be a body inside here. Today's video is sponsored by Timu. So uh, Timu provided me these guitar parts for today's video. Everything I show you should be available on their app. Timu is an online marketplace that offers free shipping and returns for up to 90 days. And they will have site-wide sales with savings up to 90% off. So use the link in the description below and uh, use my code DKW4996 for $100 in coupons. Okay, let's open up this body and see what is in here. Now this video is sponsored by Timu. And real quick, let's take a look at this. Okay, so we're looking at the finish up here. And uh, I can definitely smell the paint. It looks pretty good. You see a little something in here, but that's going to be covered. Got kind of a big route, which is okay. Uh, it's good. It's got a, some of the styrofoam on there. But, uh, ooh, number 13. That's lucky. Then you can see they got a giant hole here, and that's where they just they hung it up when they painted it. But it's really a nice white. Um, nice color. I, I don't think I have anything nice and white like that. So this will be a fun guitar to put together. So here is our bridge. And... Uh, Again, so there's free returns on this stuff. And this should be a real fun guitar for me to put together. So anyhow, here's our bridge. I see the bar in there. It's a Fender style bridge. You know, pretty much squire looking stuff. Kind of lightweight. Um, and here is our neck. So this should be fun for us to look at. Let's see if I can just slide it out of here. Okay, well, telly style. Twenty-one fret. It's got the nut in there. It's got the truss rod up here at the top. No tuners. I'll have to find some tuners to put on it. But let's see how it just kind of lays in the pocket there. Okay, it lays in nicely. Now, honestly though, the Tele style stuff is straight across, where a Strat has more of a round. So, I'm not sure. I, You know what? I have another knack. I have other things that I can use. Now, I know I can maybe want to... I could return that if I wanted to. Alright, let's set all this stuff on the bench. And let's, uh, let's put this thing together. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and install the bridge. So this should go in there, drop right in, super easy. So I'm looking at this body, and I don't know what kind of wood it is, but it's definitely not plywood. Um, I don't think that they're uh, making any guitars out of plywood anymore these days. They were doing that a lot in the 90s and in the... Early 2000s, they were making a lot of stuff out of plywood, but I'm pretty sure that they're done with that. And that was a uh, that was a losing effort. Plywood guitars, everybody knows not to do that nowadays. 
Okay, so I'm just going to start these screws a little bit here. And with my drill, I'm just going to run these babies down in there. So you don't tighten these screws all the way because you want that to have a little bit of movement in there. So you leave them out a little bit. Okay, now let's flip the guitar over. Okay, now we've got something a little challenging. This is where the claw goes. And there are no holes in here drilled for that. So that's going to be a little challenging, but we're up for the challenge. Change my, change my drill bit. Let's go in here and let's just kind of keep this centered and I'm gonna, I'm gonna try for one right there. Ooh, easy. And try for one right there. Okay. So what I really need is a really, really long drill bit. There we go. Not too bad. Kind of messed up a little bit. But I am not going to dwell on it. Alright, so it had number 13 uh, in there. And I, I took a little tiny bit of some nail polish remover. And I cleaned that number 13 out. Now this looks nice and clean. It's not going to ever have a back plate on it. I love that it looks like this. Because that kind of makes it look like a... PRS uh, Silver Sky, right? Where they didn't have a back plate on it. So I really love that look of no back plate. There we go. The bridge is in there. Okay, now I need a an output jack cover. And I think I have one of those laying around. Okay, let's drill a hole right here for the ground wire. There we go. Hopefully that's in a good spot right there. Okay, I've got an output jack and I'm just going to kind of lay it in here. But I think it looks good. Drill a couple of holes. Okay, so I'm going to install one screw in here that holds this uh, output jack in there. And then it'll be in perfect location for me to drill the second hole. Good, now we're going to have to take that back off, but that is there. So, let's take a look at this now. Alright, so we've got two grounds and the white wire, which is the hot wire. And we've got a humbucker and a couple of very inexpensive um, pickups here, single coil pickups. But um, it's a nice looking guitar. It's going to look really clean and really nice. So, uh, so I'm going to lift this back out of here. Because we need to solder the white to the white and the black to the black. And then this one of these ground wires goes down here into the body. So that we can solder that into the... Um, into the claw in the back to ground it. So that goes there. I'm going to just kind of maybe flip this this way. And see if I can get these wires through here. Yep, they gave us plenty of length on the wires. So it should be super easy to do this. So far, so good. 
Okay, so I've got some of this um, shrink wrap stuff, uh, heat shrink, uh, whatever they call this stuff, and I'm going to put that on here, on here, and you don't have to, but I'm going to strip this wire a little bit more to give us a little bit uh, more bare wire so that I can wrap them real nice and easy. So this one again, white to white and black to black. Seems like the best plan. Okay, so I think I have it wired in there, so let's plug it in and let's tap on it here, see what happens. It's working perfectly. Very good. Super easy. Okay, guys, so I've decided to use this rocket special neck. So I'm just shining it up here. I've got a little bit of Meguiar's Ultimate Polishing Compound on this rag. And I'm just shining it up. I kind of decided this was my best decision. For my best choice when it came to weird necks, laying around stuff. Now again, I could return that tally neck that I bought. But I'm in a guitar shop, so I'll be able to sell it to somebody. Or I put tons of parts casters together. So it never hurts anything to, to have a, uh, a tally neck laying around. Yeah, so this is the, it's too bad it's got some scratching right there. But I have this black uh, paint marker that I got at uh, Space Age Auto. And it'll do little touch-ups, even though the truss rod cover covers that one. You know, it'll do little touch-ups really easily. Maybe right there's a good spot, see? So yeah, heavy duty marking got paint in there so yeah maybe not my best decision but I've decided to use that rocket neck on there and it's pretty much close to being together now I need to put strings on it I need to screw the pickguard back down into place and uh, put some strap buttons in it and this thing will be ready to rock. Drill bits always fall out of this thing. Here we go. And I guess I'll go ahead and take the plastic off of here. Now that my drill has been put away. Today's string choice. 
Okay, let's put a fresh pack of super slinky Ernie Ball 9242s on here. America's favorite guitar string. All right, let's see if I can put some strap buttons on this thing. There we go. Very short screws on that. <clears throat> okay, let's see what it's doing. It's getting there. I got to just do some more setup work. Got to adjust these saddles and look at the intonation. And I might want to snug this neck down a little bit. Get in on this truss rod a little. Okay, let's snug this tight. There we go. All right, my Timu project is all completed. It turned out looking pretty cool. And again, I like that the back plate is not on there. Uh, black hardware on this one. Uh, this is the Timu bridge. Altogether, this was probably under $100 or so, wouldn't you say? And uh, now this crazy neck that I had in the back and put on here, it says uh, Rocket Special. And this was part of a package deal, these Rocket Guitars. When you bought a Marshall MG amp, you would get one of these guitars in a bundle, kind of a, kind of a thing. But here we go. <laughs> a really pretty nice guitar it turned out nice let's go up into the neck position real quick and see what it sounds like up here
position. Timu, thank you so much for sending me this stuff. And all you guys, uh, make sure to check the links down in, in the description below. Get yourself some Timu stuff. It's very affordable guitar stuff. Really nice looking body. It turned out really, really good. Thanks you guys for watching. Everybody have a great day. Mm -hmm.